This clip of the Texas Bucket List is brought to you by Spirit of Texas Bank and Slovacek Sausage. Howdy, and welcome to the Texas Bucket List, the show dedicated to everything there is to see, do, and experience right here in the Lone Star State. My name is Shane McAuliffe, and this week we have got some really big stories for you. We start things off in Waco at a site that just recently opened to tourists and the history there is gargantuan. In fact, you could say it's mammoth size. The moon has been looking over the Lone Star State long before it was ever called Texas. That includes a time when mammoths roamed the earth and evidence of those incredible animals can be found at a very unique spot in Waco simply called the mammoth site. This is one of the most incredible Ice Age sites, not just in North America, but on the planet. Don Asker is a paleontologist and director of the site that looked a little bit different over 50,000 years ago. It's a spot where 24 or 25 mammoths, at a minimum, died in a series of catastrophic flash floods back during the end of the last Ice Age. The site was discovered in 1978, when two young men looking for arrowheads found a bone a really, really big bone. Turns out the discovery led to a treasure trove of Colombian mammoths that met an unfortunate end long before humans had landed in the New World. For whatever reason, these animals were gathered together in the bottom of that creek bed. Um, maybe they were down there because the grass was a little greener. Maybe they were down there because they were using the creek bed as a path to get to the Brazos River. Well, whatever the reason was, they couldn't have picked a worse time. A raging flash flood sealed the fate of the mammoths, some of them standing over 14 feet tall. Many of the animals drowned, and those that didn't drown unfortunately got stuck in the thick layer of mud that flash floods often leave behind. They died of, uh, of exhaustion over a period of many weeks. Now the incredible fossils are displayed in a climate controlled building that can be seen on a daily basis. Among the mammoth remains, other animals were found, including a camel. Turns out they too were roaming Texas all those years ago. For lack of a better way of putting it, it's the best job ever. <laughs> Jeremy Holt leads tours through the site that's only been open to the public for the past few years. They ate about 300 to 700 pounds of grass a day, and they drank about 50 gallons of water a day. Now I'm supposed to drink six glasses of water a day to be healthy from what I've been told, but if I drank 50 gallons, I would just cry. I don't want to do that at all. Visitors can get a first-hand look at the remains that are technically fossils. This is our best understanding of a Colombian mammoth. Well, they are fossils because they're over 10,000 years old, and that's the only requirement. But they're not fossilized. They haven't been turned to stone or anything like that. The bones are made out of calcium phosphate, just like your bones and mine. Despite 16 mammoths being recovered, stored, and displayed at the Mayborn Museum on the Baylor campus, there's still plenty more mammoth to muster. There's just one problem. We're not done. In fact, what you're looking at is only the tip of the iceberg in terms of how much there is to find out here. But Baylor is actually out of storage space. For now, the mammoth site serves only as a tourist destination with the hope that one day soon, more history will be uncovered. The key to digging again is going to be becoming part of the national park system. Uh, now, when we become part of the national park system, and the national park system has said unequivocally that they want us, it's not going to be that we're going to get a lot of funding from them. It's not a matter of federal funding. It's a matter of getting the attention that we need out here. So it makes me think of the times when I was a kid and I'd get out in the farm and dig up stuff on my way to China. Pat Worrell took the tour with a group of friends that happened to have a mammoth sized sense of humor. We brought some old fossils to see some old fossils today. It's just interesting seeing, um, seeing things that are older than we are here <laughs> from this group. <laughs> You know, <laughs> all joking aside, getting a chance to see this incredible piece of Texas history is a joy for those young at heart and wise in years. It blows my mind. I mean, I can't fathom 50,000 years. It's amazing to know that just to see how much you can find, how much you can learn just from some bones. The mammoth site in Waco, a chance to see some Texas history that's as big as the state is. You absolutely have to come out here if you want to learn about all of Texas history. It's just really fascinating to think that it's just right here, literally in our back door. 
it's just quite, it's worth the trip, definitely. There's nothing like this that I've seen anywhere else in Texas. It's part of our history and uh, I think all Texans should, should be a part of that.